Hello, this is Yogeshwar 7000 again and I'm back with another interesting topic in Vedic Astrology today. And today we'll be talking uh, a little uh, more about say Gemini and his principles. And I have discussed in one of my earlier videos as to how say Gemini considers uh, or how say Gemini determines a person's profession based on the Atma Karaka. So I think the name of that video is Atma Karaka and Profession uh, or say Gemini or say Gemini and profession one of these so I would recommend please refer to that as well if you have not watched that it's pretty interesting as you know that say Gemini was a second generation astrologer or a sage to sage Parashar and uh, much after sage Bhrigu but his sutras princi uh, principally mainly they focus mostly on the Navamsha chart okay he does uh, give importance to the main Rashi chart but then again he uh, has done a little more research on the Charakarakas which are the movable significators so as to say and then he determines or he does an analysis based on the Charakarakas in the Navamsha chart so he gives a lot of importance to Charakarakas he gives a lot of importance to the Navamsha chart and uh, a lot of his analysis is done based on the Navamsha chart even professions although we know that the chart for professions is the D10 or the, the Samsa chart basically or the main Rashi chart but there are certain principles certain sutras which say Germany has given <coughs> where he gives uh, or he tries to determine a person's profession um, based on the D9 or the Navamsha chart which is not a uh, which is not a, uh, a ha or a, a chart of profession rather it is a chart of the spouse but uh, you can determine based on the Karakamsha or the Atma Karaka so as to say so where Atma Karaka is placed in the Navamsha chart is the Karakamsha and like I said in my earlier video I've discussed as to how Sage Germany has explained as to what role the Atma Karaka plays in the Navamsha chart to determine a person's profession so today out of that video uh, there was one uh, particular discussion about the influence of Rahu on the Atma Karaka in the D9 chart or in the Navamsha chart and today we're going to uh, discuss a very important chart which will prove the correctness of the principle or the sutra of say Gemini and this chart is the chart of Charles Shobraj and we all know that Charles Shobraj is serving a life imprisonment sentence right now in Nepal and he has been known to be an international criminal he was a serial killer uh, he was a cheat he used to kill people for money and somehow he got away a couple of times through the prison as well because of his sharpness of his mind and his crooked nature and his criminal mind but this is a chart of a criminal who has been proved a criminal and who's who's repeatedly killed people for money cheated people and let's look at what say Germany had mentioned about about uh, the influence of the Atma Karaka in the D9 chart or in other words the Karakamsha chart as we know that the Atma Karaka which is placed in the D9 or the Navamsha chart is the Karakamsha so what say Gemini had mentioned that in case the Atma Karaka in the D9 or the Navamsha chart is placed <clears throat> with the planet Rahu okay and if you refer to my earlier videos you'll 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 see that I've discussed several other planets as well but today is like a case study specifically about Rahu what he has mentioned that in case the Atma Karaka is placed in the D9 chart along with the planet Rahu and we know that Rahu is a cheat Rahu is a thief Rahu is a criminal then a person leads his life <clears throat> in terms of his profession his profession itself becomes a, a profession of a criminal and if you look in the d9 chart here in front of your screen his atma karaka is the planet saturn on the left side is the rashi chart on the right side it's the d9 or the navamsha chart so on the left side you'll see uh, 
that is Atma Karaka. The degrees are not mentioned, but uh, his Atma Karaka is Saturn. He was born, and I'll give you the exact uh, uh, date and time so that you can also draw his chart and test it for yourself. He was born in in uh, a place called Saigon, Vietnam on April the 6th 1944 and the time of his birth was 10 p.m. at night. So based on this <clears throat> birth details his Atma Karaka is Saturn and if you see Saturn is placed in his Navamcha chart along with Rahu <clears throat> and that has made him a, a criminal of international repute um, like I said profession can be looked through other ways the main Rashi chart and the D9, a D10 chart which is the Dasamcha ch chart as well but according to the principle given by say Gemini in case the Atma Karaka sits with Rahu or is influenced by Rahu <clears throat> the person he has mentioned very clearly that he 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 will either be a manufacturer of arms or he will lead his life in terms of a profession as a criminal <clears throat> as a thief as a cheat and with this confirms that sutra of uh, the great states germany so i will recommend you know when i discuss topics uh, please go out and test it on various charts and um, i can almost guarantee you that uh, the sutras of the ancient sages the shlokas of the ancient sages <clears throat> will come out very accurate and very true uh, because uh, astrology in the ancient times was extremely pure please do not go out and watch videos of astrologers who not that i'm trying to criticize them but who would explain jyotish or astrology based on their own experiences because the day and time we are living in you know we can make mistakes but the rishis the sages do not make mistakes and this is one good example of how it is proved that the ancient sutra of say germany has proved to be so correct as we can see in this international criminal charles Shobraj's birth chart that is so accurate so hopefully you did enjoy this video on one of the sutras of say germany which explains the role of the atma karaka in the d9 chart and how planets influence the atma karaka and the d9 chart to determine the kind of a profession or career he will eventually be in and in the meanwhile i will recommend subscribe to my channel check out my website there is a link below and i will see you with an interesting topic in vedic astrology in my next session very soon goodbye